Hello there, I am Petrock6 today. This is my first tour in quite a while, but let's make it worthwhile. Okay, this is a tool called Wireshark, which will not be the basis of this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to ARP spoof, and well, um, this tool Wireshark, what it does is it basically takes all the packets being sent in the network to other people, well, computers. But you can see my network is fairly busy since I have like five computers up right now, but I've had a lot more. And when you ARP poison someone, well, the ARP protocol, it basically means like, like when you send an ARP packet to your router, it's basically saying, where the hell are you? and where can I reach you. Now if you send a fake art packet then that resolves in a denial of service attack. Um, let's go ahead and do that. This type of attack is called a man in the middle of attack and a man, a man in the middle of attack means that I'm the attacker, the router is uh, the router is the target and then the victim is on their computer, which in result that will be the only computer that cannot connect to internet. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this started. There's a tool called ARP Spoof, which I'll put the link for in uh, the comment box. And basically, this is an ARP spoofing tool. And we'll let's just get started. I'll bring up another command prompt here, and I'm gonna go ahead and ping Google.com. And you can see I can paint it just fine. About 50 milliseconds. Let's go ahead and move that over there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go to my ARP spoof directory. And then, let's do this. Well, first you need to find out the victim's IP address. Which will start with 192.168. Uh, whatever. Um, to find out the v target and the victim's IP address, right here would be my IP address, and in this case I'll be the man in the middle and the victim. And right here is the router, which is 192.168.1.1 on most networks. And, well, let's just go ahead and get this started. I think this is how you do it. I haven't done it in quite a while. And then it tells you to select the interface number. And in this case, I'm using the Intel Pro 100 VE network connection, which is number 2. And you'll see it's starting to send packets. And you can see on this, all the activity except for the ping and the ARP has ended. And there's a ton of applications that are going crazy right now that cannot connect. And as you can see on our ping, it has this stopped working. It's still sending. Now you can leave this on for quite a while. And like I said, you do not have to be the victim yourself. You can send it to anyone you want. If you want to, you can go ahead and ping my router. And I have a humongous router, so... Yeah. And, like I said before, everyone else can connect. And... To cure this... You could say exploit, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's more of a denial service attack, but to cure this... All you really have to do is reboot, but of course you can just leave this running overnight and the person's internet connection will pretty much be fucked over. Um, this is usually fun to do in places like Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, you get a lot of angry people when you do that there. Anyways, this is a short tutorial by Petrock6. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial, and have a fun time.